The guess method is a method that scientists use to solve equations. This works for everything from NASA engineers to lowly 8th grade science students. So let's take a look at what guess stands for. The G stands for given. In any equation or any problem that we're given, we're going to have information that is given to us, variables that we know. We're then going to write down the unknown. This is the information that we don't know, that the question is asking us to solve for. We then select the proper equation to help us take the given to find out the unknown. We'll next substitute the given information into that equation. So we're going to substitute this given information into the equation to calculate what our unknown is. And then in the end, once we've substituted, we're going to solve. Let's take a look at a sample problem to see if we can use the guess method to get to the correct answer. If an object moves 260.5 meters in 19.4 seconds, what is the object's speed? We're going to begin with the given. If an object moves 260.5 meters, we know that 260.5 meters is a measurement of distance. In 19.4 seconds, we know that seconds is a measurement of time. What is the object's speed? So in this case, that's the unknown. We don't know what the speed is. Okay, we've done the given, we've done the unknown. Next, we need to write down the equation. And we know from our notes, in order to find speed, the equation is S equals D divided by T. So now we move on to substitution. Okay, you'll notice this is all very neat and easy to read and easy to follow. The key to math and the key to solving equations is to make sure that everything is very easy to read with lots of space in between the lines. As soon as you get cramped, your thoughts get cramped. So now we're going to substitute into this equation above. What is D equal to? Well, we knew from up above 260.5 meters. So that's what I'm going to write down. D is 260.5 meters. T was equal to 19.4 seconds. 19.4 seconds. Okay, and then the final step in the guess method is to solve the equation. So we're going to slide down here, and we're going to solve. And this is just some simple arithmetic. And luckily, we have a calculator that we can use. So 260.5 divided by 19 point four equals thirteen point four and we'll just round to the nearest tenth now what units should we select for our final answer well if you notice what units we had over here we had meters over seconds and that's going to be our units right there we just take the same units meters per second and that gets us to the correct answer using the guess method